Welcome back to Dance Dish. I'm here with Lindsley and Chris Judd. And Lauren, I, I want to know about So You Think You Can Dance. What do you want to know? Yeah. Wait, what season? Season three. It was in the beginning. Oh, yeah, it was the very beginning. Yeah, that's prime. That, right? That was prime. 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 22 million people an episode was watching. Oh my oh, god. That's Magic. amazing. Thank prime. You. It was cool. Um, so Not to like, be too much of a uh, masochist, but I wanted to about the night you were eliminated. Is that so mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. A roses and thorns version. My friends are like, you're auditioning tomorrow, right? And I'm like, for what? Like, I had no idea. They said, so you think you can dance? I was doing like a choreography submission for like Bobby Newberry the next day. And if I get there at like 1 p.m., is that okay? Everyone lines up at 5 a.m. Like, you think you're just gonna roll in at one? And I was like, okay, well, I already gave my word. So I got there, zero line. Amazing. Best idea ever to go at 1 p.m. <laughs> I walk in, up in the balcony is like everybody. And I'm like, like what, what's going on? I don't know what to do. And all the way in the far end over there, I see my friends like stand up and wave. So I go over to them and I sit down with them. Come to find out is that the people that got there at 5 a.m. are over Ooh. there and the people that got there last are all the way down here. And so I kind of just like, vibed my way in yeah, and I just became like the spaz that I am like in the audition room and stuff and it worked. And so then I left and the next day uh, we had to come back and do our solos. I go in and as soon as I get in, they go, you're third. Third? Like, I don't understand. So I go in, I audition and I'm the first person sent straight to Vegas. Oh. Super cool. Nice. What did you do for that audition? Yeah, I did my solo, but then cut to, I did the show. Lots of other stuff happened. You'll have to get me on season three for that. <laughs> um, but, Ooh, uh, invite. <laughs> <laughs> but then the night I was eliminated was such crap. Such so scene. bad. Dish. You've gone through on, you've dish. gone through this it experience so and it's the night of elimination. I'll just say it was the finding out if you made it into the finale mm. or not. Every time mattered, but this was like the one. The shitty thing was, is that and this has never happened in So You Think You Can Dance history. They have never had this. The elimination night, there was some freaking football game on. They couldn't actually air that episode mm. that night. So what these crazy guys did is they decided to film all of us making it into the finale with all of the studio audience. Oh, I uh, shit you so not. You I walk forward and go, I, oh my god, oh my god, yeah. I'm in the finale. Oh. Like I freak out. And then we That's do- That's how they do drag and race. it didn't yeah. happen. Yeah, so everyone wins. It didn't happen. Do and they? Every, yes, and, and you don't know till it airs. But back to how you failed. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> back to how I failed. Back to reality. <laughs> back to reality. Back to reality. Back to basically, back to dance your life, live in the dream. To reality. <laughs> So basically is we did like each one of us making it to the finale and then they kicked out the entire studio audience. But I will never forget pretending like I won and I find out that I am eliminated. Crickets. Like crickets. just crickets and all I'm looking at are the judges and the contestants that are still in the competition. Wah, wah. Told Isn't that crazy? Me. They told me that I needed to go into hiding for the weekend. Whoa. But the contestants That's that were horrible. still going That's on horrible. in the competition uh, could go out. You, you know what I did? Down. You know what Lauren at 18, 19 years old did? I stomped down there. Yeah, and you I did. was yes. like, girl, give me that come producer on, girl. right now. <laughs> I was like, That's here's the thing. Funny. I That's feel like, wait, like we're not really That's artists crazy. until like that moment when that happens is that when you know that you are still in it for real. I remember after Pussycat Dolls ended, Viper Room, Interscope Records, boom, done. These girls are done, new girls. But what happens is that when we decide as dancers that no, this is the love of my life, that's I feel like the real like universal two by four. 100%. Because right? yeah, the yeah. business is different than the real heart yes. of dance. The experience, I mean, it's just like imagine this big, huge bubble. Like I was 18 years old and you had no idea. You just saw this little studio audience, but the world was watching it. Like yes. I went on tour afterwards and like people weren't holding up signs for Beyonce and Rihanna and Lady Gaga and Lady Gaga wasn't even a thing at that time, really. But Lauren. it was Lauren. Yes. It was like out there, and I'm like, this is epic. It taught me so much. Overall, it was just like this 
Oh, this gooeyness of like oh, data crazy. to take it. No, that's you guys, amazing. You're this still is dancing. A toast you're moment. still that's you're crazy. a zero dance. This is a dance. Yeah, that's an amazing toast story. Yeah, yeah. To dance a, a career in dance being a marathon, not a sprint. Yes. Being judged and keep going, and for the love that's of dance it. happening, yeah. whether you're judged or not, or kicked out so you think you can dance. So what? You know Hell, what? I think you yeah. can dance. Cheers. Yeah. Dance, so dance. Much. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Yes. Dance dish. Dance dish. Work it, kids! Five, six, seven, eight.